Tamatonga has been impressive since joining WWE. Tamatonga experienced a remarkable run in this year's King of the Ring tournament. He overcame Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits and Lay Knight before being eliminated by Randy Orton. Additionally, on SmackDown, Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa emerged victorious in a tag team match against the Street Profits. Solo Sokoa may consider Tama Tonga as the most formidable member of the bloodline, aside from himself, which is why he has appointed Tama Tonga as his right hand man. 2. Solo Sokoa has a different vision for the bloodline. Solo Sokoa has positioned himself as the leader of the bloodline during Roman Reigns' absence and has managed the group in a markedly different manner. Sokoa's iteration of the faction is significantly more aggressive, with even Paul Heyman at times appearing concerned for his well being. Sokoa may aim to cement the bloodline as a group to be dreaded by every member of the SmackDown roster while Reigns is away. Tamatonga rammed his vehicle into Kevin Owens' car earlier this year and appears willing to undertake any task that benefits the bloodline. 3. The bloodline could be taunting Ji Uso on SmackDown. Jai Uso departed the bloodline after WWE SummerSlam the previous year. He engaged in a tribal combat match against Roman Reigns, but Jimmy Uso betrayed his brother to assist the tribal chief in securing the win. Main event Jai has gained significant popularity on WWE Raw without being affiliated with the bloodline. Solo Sokoa could potentially name Tama Tonga as his right-hand man as a means to entice G. Uso to return to SmackDown in the coming weeks. 4. Solo Sokoa could be forming alliances on WWE SmackDown. The bloodline has experienced numerous transformations since Roman Reigns' absence from the company. Solo Sokoa appears to have orchestrated most of these changes, including the dismissal of Jimmy Uso from the group following his defeat to Jai Uso at WrestleMania. Sokoa may be attempting to determine who he can trust, which could explain his decision to bestow a new moniker upon Tama Tonga. Tama will likely maintain his allegiance to the 31-year-old after being granted an official position within the faction. 5. WWE could be planning a major storyline with Roman Reigns, the Usoas, and the Bloodline. WWE may be carefully crafting an intricate storyline involving the Bloodline, Roman Reigns, and the Usoas in the coming months. Solo Sokoa could be falsely claiming to be in contact with the tribal chief, setting the stage for a significant plot development when Reigns returns. The Roman Reigns may try to reunite the Usos and bring them back to his side. This could potentially result in a highly anticipated six-person tag team match, with Solo Sokoa, Tama Tonga, and Tonga Loa facing off against Roman Reigns and the Usos in the future. What are your thoughts on this possibility? Do you believe these are the factors leading to this match? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments.